It's January 5th, 2009. This is Colin from Celio Corp, and I'd like to show you the Redfly proof of concept for the Android operating system. You can see the Redfly turns on uh, almost instantly. I'm going to go ahead and press the Bluetooth key to connect. You can also connect over USB if you prefer. You can see the Redfly takes over the screen on the Android device, changes the output resolution to 800 by 480 pixels, and also uh, gives you uh, input output via the built-in keyboard, touchpad, and you can also connect uh, USB keyboard and mice through one of the two uh, powered USB ports on the back. The Redfly is just a smartphone terminal. It has no OS, no CPU, or no storage. All data and settings remain right on the phone itself. Uh, since most people who own a netbook uh, also carry a phone of some type, our line of thinking is if you have to carry two devices anyway, why not let one device do all the heavy lifting and let the other device sort of piggyback, uh, thus eliminating the need for syncing uh, two data sets or installing two sets of applications or requiring separate data plans for each device. Uh, so we think it makes sense to let the phone be the primary device and then have everything else revolve around that. You can see a good example of the extra screen real estate here when you look at the Android browser uh, running at 480 by 800 pixels compared to the screen on the uh, T-Mobile G1. We'll be showing this proof of concept at, at our booth at CES 2009, booth uh, 3934, and thank you for watching.